All right, we are live. So welcome. My name is Dr. Jen O'Sullivan, and I am here to help you understand how to get started using patches. Now, patches is a, another word for what we're using phototherapy. It's phototherapy mixed with acupressure points. So you're taking a specific patch and placing it on a specific acupressure point or anywhere on your body. It just depends on what you're trying to accomplish and which patch you're using. So when you're just getting started though, most people start with the X39 patch. That is the, the stem cell patch. It is patented technology proven to activate healthy stem cells. So that's something that we want to always start with because that is your body's ability to regenerate and heal. So if you don't have that going on, if you don't have that patch in play, you're going to um, kind of, it's not benefiting you fully. However, what we found is that patch combined with some other patches, depending on your issue, can actually accentuate your body's ability to utilize that patch well. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a lot of inflammation. Well, the X39 is outstanding at helping alleviate inflammation. And the reason for this scientifically is because when the X39 patch goes on your body, it starts triggering the um, your skin then triggers your body to create a copper peptide. That copper peptide is triggering mitochondrial activity. So mitochondria, the ATP, you know, create an ATP, the energy centers of your cells are really important to inflammation. So what's happening right away is that it's activating these mitochondria to help fight inflammation. Okay, so some of you are like, man, I have a lot of inflammation and I've tried X39 and it didn't work. Okay, here's a big issue. I want you to hear me when I say this. If you're not properly hydrated, you may be drinking enough water. You're just not properly drinking it. Five, four to five ounces every 30 minutes is how you need to be drinking to properly hydrate your cells. Also, you need the proper amount of electrolytes in your body. So if you're not getting the right electrolytes, I encourage you to order some electrolyte mix like Pro Mix or um, there's a bunch of them out there. So find one that you like, use that in your water and then sip your water. Take three big gulps every 30 minutes, like really get used to hydrating properly. And here's why your cell has all those little mitochondria in it. And when your cell is dehydrated, your cells get kind of sticky and they st stack on top of each other and they just don't really, they're not happy. So when that happens and the, your, the, the GHKCU, the copper peptides are being activated and the mitochondria are being activated, it's like they're cramped. Imagine being cramped on a bus and they're kind of like, I, I want to help, but I kind of can't, right? So if you don't have the proper hydration and the proper electrolytes going on in your body, these poor little mitochondria can't really do their jobs well. So they do work, but it just takes so much longer. So that's the biggest issue that I've seen with people is that they think they're hydrated, but they're actually dehydrated. So again, if you're drinking, say, 10 ounces every hour, right? Some of you are guzzling 16 ounces every hour. Well, your body can only absorb four to five ounces every 30 minutes. So if you are only drinking on the hour, and some of you drink every two hours, right? You're drinking a bunch of water every two hours. Well, if, if you're drinking every hour, you're 50% dehydrated. If you're drinking every two hours, you're 75% dehydrated. Doesn't matter how much you drink. It's why when you urinate, you've got all this clear urine. And for some reason, somebody along the line told everybody that your clear urine is proper. No, that's not. That's you just peeing out what you drank. <laughs> so your body needs to clean out. And when you clean out your body and the cells, it should be a pale yellow. That means it's actually doing its job. So that's important to remember is proper hydration and electrolytes to help everything work properly so that your body can start dealing with the inflammation. Okay. So here's where it gets interesting. If your main concern is inflammation, best to pair the repair patch, the X39 patch, which 
the goal of that is not to fight inflammation. The goal of that is to help activate healthy stem cells so that the stem cells can go to work repairing problems in your body. If you're having this the X39 patch initially go to the inflammation, you're giving it extra work that it would be better if you could pair it with something that would do that already. So that's why oftentimes when any client comes to me and says, Jen, my biggest issue is just inflammation. I say, great, I want you to use X39 and the Eon patch right out the gate, like right when you get started, because the Eon patch is the happy patch, but it also is also the inflammation patch. It helps fight inflammation. So if we put that patch on, guess what? The X39 patch is going to go like, woo, we can breeze on through. Everything's working good. Now we can get to work. So that's going to give you the best benefits if that's your main issue. Okay. So that's why, uh, you know, I did a video last week on patch pairings. And that's why the importance of patch pairings is really key. Because when you get started, you think, well, I just need to do X39. Well, possibly. But in some cases, if you have extra inflammation or extra issues with, um, like you're wanting to help with eating, right? And you want to stop the cravings. You could start with X39 and SP6. If you wanted to help your hormones, specifically having hormone issues and hormone imbalances, you could start with X39 and again, SP6, putting it on the S, um, the stomach 36 point. So there's SP6 is the name of the patch, putting it on the ST or stomach 36 point. So uh, I know that gets a little confusing, but SP6 is the label of the patch. And it actually is also the um, point, uh, a, an actual acupressure point, which is four finger widths above your inner ankle. However, to stop the flow of the energy of being cra having cravings and food cravings, you would put it on the left leg. To help your organs, you would put it on your left um, stomach 36 point, which is the muscle on the outside of your shin. When you move your foot up and down, it protrudes. It's like few, few fingers down from your kneecap on the kind of outer side of your shin. So that's, uh, you know, again, it's, it's how do you know what to do and, and when to do it? Well, I'm telling you, right? So, but don't say, okay, well, Jen, I want to use X39. I want to use the Eon and I think I want to do the SP6 too. Now you're getting into a little bit too much for the beginning. When you get to the point where you've gone through your initial phase of your body getting used to patches, there, there's about a two week to, to three or four week detox phase where you don't want to get into doing too many patches all at once. We're going to start a little bit slower, but not fully slow. You don't have to just only do X39. And that was a, an issue that in the beginning, we thought that's what you needed to do. And we found out, no, it would have been better had a lot of you dealing with inflammation start with the Eon patch or a lot of you dealing with emotional distress start with the Eon patch with X39. So you pair those together. And then the next month, if you want to add SP6, great. And then the next month, if you wanted to add um, carnosine, great. The next month, if you wanted to add glutathione, great. And you would start rotating things through, but you always have X39 on. Now, here's the thing. It's confusing for some of you because you're like, how many patches can I use at once? Because I really want the Alavita patch and I really want the energy enhancer patch. And you know, you start you start learning about all of these patches. It's not a lot. We don't have that many patches, but when you start learning about them all, you think, man, those are all, they all sound amazing and they are. So what's the, what's the thing? Okay. Well, if your main issue at the beginning, again, is something specific, like I really need to work on, like you're an athlete and you really want that, you know, shredded muscles. You want your muscles working really well. You want your recovery time. You want that natural alanine that really helps your body recover fast um, and it helps build muscle uh, effectively and, and well. So you could pair X39 and X49. Again, it's, and it, you know, you start with those. I've not seen anyone have a detox spiral with like X49 and X39 starting or, you know, 
one of the patch, one of the other patch, the only two patches. So I'm going to, I told you guys this before, but again, if you're just starting out, the only two patches I don't pair with a, uh, an, uh, the X39 would be glutathione and carnosine. You never start with those. You never recommend those together at the beginning. If someone's starting X39, you wait two or three months before starting them with, say, glutathione. Uh, if, if it was both, some some of you get real interested in the YH trio and you want to like go for it right away. Those two are really um, powerful patches. So that's why we want your body to be fully kind of funded <laughs> with patch therapy. And as you're moving forward and you're feeling good and you're like, okay, I've gone through the detox of the X39 and that looks like fatigue or headaches every once in a while. It's not chronic. You would not have chronic anything. It's just, you're going to go through some times of just, wow, I feel a little tired because your body's repairing or man, I have a little bit of a headache. You didn't drink enough water, right? This is a typical vital flush that happens when your body is transitioning from not well to trying to heal itself. So that's part of the dilemma is that we want to be careful about putting anyone into a detox spiral. So if you're dealing with, say, Lyme disease or an autoimmune disease that is you've had for a while, absolutely. You, you know, so many people think I should go on glutathione right away and carnosine. Carnosine is going to help with, you know, my circulatory health and it's going to help with my brain fog and, and the glutathione is going to detox my organs. So a lot of times people think that's what we need to do, but what you're going to do to your people, if you're listening to me and you're a brand partner, or if you're a customer listening to me and you're like, Oh, that did happen to me is that you're going to put yourself into a massive Herx situation. You're going to have this aggressive detox spiral that will be so um, just not ha not fun that you're not going to want to use the patches anymore. So we want to help people understand there are, your body is cleaning out things. So if you had a month to do nothing and, and just sleep all day, then sure, go for it. But who who can do that? You really do want to move slower if you have Lyme specifically or a specific autoimmune disease, which means you want to start with X39 and possibly the Eon only and just go with that for a couple months and then move into uh, you know something else that would be interesting for you to try, but not glutathione yet or the carnosine yet. When you do decide, because those are two of my favorite patches, and so many people love those patches, when you do decide to use them, just use them slower. So just use like the glutathione patch for four to six hours uh, for one day, and then four to six hours the next day, and then throw it out. Do them, do them a little bit slower. Uh, once it's once you've activated a patch, it lasts for only 48 hours and then it's done. So meaning you don't, you won't be able to use it again, uh, but you only have on it about 18 hours of use. Uh, but again, if you patched yourself for six hours today and six hours tomorrow, by the next day, the third day, it would be completely done, even though you've only used it for 12 hours. So there's a maximum time that the patch will actually be okay to use once activated. But um, generally speaking, there's, you know, 18 to 24 hours on it. Uh, we've really seen that be pretty common, but um, that's just how it works. So hopefully uh, that will give you a, a good enough understanding of, you know, well, when can I start using others? Let's say you started out with the Eon Patch NX39 and you're like, well, that's, I'm doing those in the day. What if I wanted to use something at night? Yeah, you could do that. Again, you might push yourself into a detox spiral if you added, say, carnosine at night, but you would want to consider something like Alavita. Alavita, amazing women, like the guys love it too, but us ladies love it because it helps your skin look amazing. And you can wear that at night. And some people wear it right on their temple, side neck or back of neck. And so again, because it's a different patch, it's on a different 12 hour rotation. So you can add things like if you were using the, um, the pain patch, right? The ice wave patch, uh, you could decide if you wanted to do ice wave with X39 during the day, if you're dealing with chronic pain and then take the Eon patch and put it on at night. Cause that will also help with the chronic pain because 
both of them are working from a mitochondrial perspective to help your inflammation. So again, that's a, a way some of you are like, I just want to wear the, you know, the ice wave 24 hours a day and you can't do that. So a solution is to team up with the Eon patch. So ice wave for one 12 hour period and the Eon patch for the other, and just try different days. Try X39 with Eon during the day and the ice wave at night if you have a hard time sleeping because of the pain. And that's going to be a little more helpful at night or try it reversed where it's X39 in the day with the Eon with the ice wave and then Eon at night. So this is just a, a brief helping you understand how, um, how all of this works and how to kind of consider how to make the most of what you're doing when you start out. So I think that um, the best advice I can give you when you're starting out is don't give up. I've seen a lot of people just start their patch journey, be all in, and then life happens and they forget. And it's, it's oh shoot, it's been five days and I forgot to put a patch on. Put it somewhere you can see it and you will remember it. Get a little glass container, put it, you know, those little things with the caps on it, dump all your patches, in that and put it right on your counter when you where you brush your teeth and just wake up in the morning take your shower get ready brush your teeth put a patch on then when you go to bed at night brush your teeth take your patch off throw it out that's the best way to remember now if you're doing the math on that because i know some of you are, are you know real sticklers for timing you're thinking well i don't brush my teeth 12 hours apart i might brush my teeth at 6 a.m and then brush my teeth at 9 p.m now that's too many hours. It's not a big deal. That's actually fine. That would not give you attenuation. If you went from 9 a.m. to or 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., that's only 15 hours. And then you'd have nine, you know, you're you'd have at least eight hours. You want at least eight hours of sleep time that you're not wearing a patch. OK, and you can keep the patches in a glass container that's completely safe. And the reason for that is glass blocks. UV. Uh, you just want to make sure that if you're if you're if you tend to take really hot showers and the room itself gets over 90 degrees, I doubt that would happen. Check your temperature in your shower room, wherever your bathroom is, that if if it's you know in the 80s, that could be potentially activating. The patches are more heat sensitive. Uh, as opposed to infrared sensitive, it's sensitive to infrared light, but they only get activated in temperatures between 80 and 90 degrees. So they need to be on your person. So as much as, you know, we used to talk about them, your infrared light throws by like three feet. So if it's three feet away from you, you're like, it's activating only if it's like the middle of summer and it's like 90 degrees out. <laughs> so just be aware of that. Um, they're not activated though, unless they're in you know, normal temperature and without infrared. So keeping me, keeping them in a glass container in a normal time is good to go. So hopefully that helps. And um, that's it for tonight. So thanks for joining me.